The construction of a new building can begin with an architect's dream and be completed at the stroke of a mason's hammer. Modern technology makes it possible to save both construction cost and time by completing the construction on time. But there are few mega projects that require extra time to complete the masterpiece. In the modern era, revolutionary changes are also taking place in the architecture with the use of technology. In the past, many projects took decades to complete, but in modern times, even architectural mega projects are completed within a few years. Many masterpieces were created in the construction sector during the year 2023, but 2024 has been chosen for the completion of some mega projects. Let's know about the 10 biggest mega projects among them. Oxley Towers, Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia, is famous for world's second tallest, 678.9 meter. Merdeka, 118 tower, Patronus Twin Towers, with a matchless sky bridge and other skyscrapers. In the same tourist city, the construction of the 338 meter tall Oxley Tower, next to iconic Patronus Towers, is also in full swing. This 78-story unique megastructure, comprising of three towers, is under construction on about three acres or two million square meters and will be completed in 2024. Oxley Tower is integrated with two sky bridges, signature offices, exciting retail, five-star hotels, rooftop garden, and branded residences. Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. The good news for football and especially the legend Real Madrid's fans is that the new home of your favorite club is nearing completion. The Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is being renovated at a cost of around $1 billion and is now being hailed as the best football stadium in the world. Renovation of the stadium, which resembles a giant sandwich toaster in the city of Madrid, began in 2019, under which the capacity of spectators is also being increased by 4,000 people. The exterior of the stadium is being decorated with steel strips that will be lit up at night. The most prominent feature of the stadium is its retractable pitch, which can be segmented and stored underground. Apart from this, retractable roof and new terraces are also being added to the stadium. Kaohsiung Station Taiwan's southern city of Kaohsiung has a population of 2.7 million and is the country's third largest city. The main feature of this city is the largest port in Taiwan and the 13th busiest in the world. A one-of-its-kind station is also being built in Kaohsiung along with the upgrading of the metro, railways, metro, intercity and intercity buses, taxi and bike routes are being linked at this hub of transportation. There is also a 9.75 kilometer long railway tunnel in which seven new stations have been established. A new park for citizens is also being constructed in this mega structure to be built on about 8.5 hectares. International Land Sea Center. By the end of 2024, eight out of 10 tallest buildings in the world will belong to China. Despite the recent ban on the construction of skyscrapers by the Chinese government, China is still ready to maintain its dominance in skyscrapers. Construction of the 98-story International Land and Sea Center, comprising 11 towers, is underway in China's autonomous region of Chongqing. This 458-meter high engineering masterpiece project will be completed during 2024. The One Canada is undoubtedly a cold, but one of the most favorite countries for tourists. These days, there is talk of Canada's new tallest building in Toronto, which is fast approaching completion. The city's rapid construction of skyscrapers will soon make it North America's top city in terms of mega projects, surpassing Chicago. The 306 meter tall The One, under construction in Toronto, will consist of apartments, commercial space, and a hotel. Various engineering challenges were encountered during the design and construction of this skyscraper the most prominent being the city's strong winds. With the increasing number of high-rise buildings in Toronto, street wind has become a problem. Cutaways have been incorporated into the design of the one, so that strong winds flow along their natural path rather than creating difficulties for pedestrians. Sydney Metro Expansion. Australia's largest public transport project is currently undergoing expansion in Sydney. The Australian government says that by 2030, Sydney will have four metro lines with 48 new stations and a length of 113 km. After the completion of this project, Northwest, West, Southwest, and Greater West, parts of the city, 
will be directly connected with each other by fast and reliable metro. The current section of the metro project is being built under Sydney Harbour in the northwest, with underground stations to the new central business district. This section will be completed in 2024, and its length will be 30 km. This mega project to be built at a cost of about $20 billion will be the largest project in the world in suburban areas. For Frankfurt. Now let's talk about Frankfurt, the city of Germany, where high-rise buildings are going to surpass each other in the coming years. In the same city, an under construction project called Frankfurt 4 has become the center of attention of local people and foreign tourists. This mega project, consisting of four towers, is being constructed at the exact place where the first skyscraper, Deutsche Bank Investment Banking Center, was constructed in 1971, which was demolished in 2018. The building's tallest cluster will be 233 meters tall, making it one of the 50 skyscrapers existing or under consideration in Frankfurt. Apart from a hotel, Frankfurt 4 will have offices, apartments, shops and restaurants. The Olympic Venues In the current history of the Olympics, Paris is the second city after London to host the Summer Olympics for the third time. In such a situation, along with the renovation of the city, the construction of venues for the Olympics 2024 is also going on rapidly, so many other buildings, including new stadiums, are built in the host city of the Olympics around the world. But this time, the Paris Olympics will be completely different from the others. After the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, which was affected by the global epidemic, the Olympics officials say that this time, the preparations for the Olympics must be different from the past, in which low cost and hygiene arrangements will be given primary importance. This is why old buildings will be reused for the 2024 Paris Olympics, while this year, around 95% of the event will be held either in existing or temporary structures. This city of lights is once again busy preparing to dazzle the eyes of tourists. The modernization and renovation of most of the existing buildings is almost complete, while the construction of temporary buildings, which will be dismantled after the games, such as the spectacular arena in front of the Eiffel Tower, is underway. Only one permanent building is being constructed for the event, the Aquatic Center, which will be mostly made of timber. The Aquatic Center will be used for national competitions after the Olympics. Solar panels will be installed on the roof of the building, making it one of France's largest urban solar farms. The Seine Cleanup Preparations for the Olympics are in place, but other projects are underway in the city to make Paris cleaner and greener. Under this project, special attention is being given to the River Seine flowing in the city. Interestingly, for the last 100 years, French people have been reluctant to swim in this river, but now various treatment projects are underway to make the water swimmable. This reluctance is related to the ban imposed by the French government since 1923, mainly due to the presence of metal and fecal bacteria in the river. The aim of making the river water swimmable again is to hold swimming trials here in 2024, like the 1900 Olympics. Estimated to cost $1.5 billion, this Grand River Water Treatment Project will consist mainly of giant rainwater holding tanks 50 meters wide and 34 meters deep. The tank will have a storage capacity of 46 million liters before channeling the water through a tunnel to a treatment facility. The water from the treatment plant will be pumped back into the Seine River after being completely cleaned. The opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics will also be held on the river which will be the largest event in Olympic history. Notre Dame Restoration Continuing the mention of the Seine River, we will now mention one of the great symbols of Paris and the Western civilization, the Cathedral of Notre Dame. The restoration of Notre Dame, which suffered a fire in 2019, is a long and complex process, costing more than $900 million. The money will be used to rebuild the cathedral's damaged interior and iconic wooden spire, and most of the building will be opened by the end of 2024. Construction engineers and experts say that restoration of the interior will take a long time, but most of the exterior of the cathedral, including the famous spire, will be completed soon. Let us also mention here that by the end of 2023, the restoration work of Notre Dame's grand organ, stained glass windows, and wrought iron railing was completed. There are many other mega projects underway around the world that will be completed in 2024, and if you are aware of any of these projects, be sure to mention it here. Please like and share this video, and be sure to drop a line in the comment section.